<laughs> I have a horse on the loading screen. The horses of Skyrim are uh, hearty and strong. They are strong horses. <laughs> yep. Here we are on the docks going to Souls. Time if I can find. Lords don't appreciate us. So what? I don't appreciate them right back. Good for you. Who's the guy who takes you to Solstein? That guy. If you're looking for passage to Solstein, you won't find a finer vessel than the Northern Maiden. Take me to Solstein. I'll give you a fair price. Not what? Many Is that my <laughs> If you ask me, <laughs> things aren't what they used to be out there. Here <laughs> she goes. She. <laughs> Apparently my horse is going to follow me to Solstein. <laughs> this is going to be fun. For and On the I ship. Can always use the coin. Still interested in heading over there? Yes. And <clears throat> you've got, you've got yourself yourself a ship. We'll cast off immediately. Good. Don't forget my horse. It's Mr. Whack. Whack -a Whack -a oh, right. I should probably do an intro for this video. <laughs> uh, in lieu of unblooded, this is my April Fool's video. <laughs> I am feeling fatigued. Welcome to Solstheim. Well, here we are. Welcome to Raven Rock. Just be careful here. Things aren't what they used to be. <laughs> Raven Rock discovered. There we go. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Had a bit of a glitch. A bit of a glitch there. Why is the water green? I'm going to it. I see you. I'm not going to talk. I guess I'm going to talk to you now. What's up, dude? I don't recognize you. So I Where's my horse? This is your first visit to Ravenrock, Outlander. State your intentions. Uh. I'm here because a mud crab <laughs> told me to be here. So I guess I'm looking for work. You picked one of the worst places in Morrowind <laughs> to do that, but suit yourself. Just remember, Raven Rock is sovereign territory of House Redoran. This is Morrowind, not Skyrim. While you're here, you will be expected to abide by our laws. Do you mind, Any sir? Question? I'm. Yeah, no, it's it's no. I'm good. Hail, Jolan. Okay. Well met. Talk to Captain Yellen. Oh. Can you even ask? Yes. It's I'm the clipping. Okay. But Welcome to Raven Rock. So the story the behind this be little expedition. Where is my horse? It, no, I have no idea where my horse went. I might not be on the boat. I can call it later. But raise the prices again. I'm in the middle of a very noisy place. Hold on. Here we go. What's up, nerd? Okay. I'm just gonna come over here. Because that way people aren't going to be yakking at me. I'll stand down here by these docks and it'll be a nice shot. Dun dun! Bargast! In Raven Rock. Look at this. It's, uh, his face got a little bit messed up. Um. <clears throat> the story. Thanks, Mom. The story <laughs> behind this episode is that I didn't want. Um. I didn't want to be putting out the finale. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he did that. Uh, the finale of. Unblooded. On April Fool's Day. And so. I'm doing what I said I was going to do for a very long time, which was record myself just playing the way I usually play. 
<laughs> Except with the microphone on. So, this is my unbound character, Bargast, the orc who was originally not an orc. And, uh, things happened. There's his shield, by the way. He has an elven shield now. It's a quite nice shield. I don't know where my horse went. Uh, right, the mud crab thing. He's in Raven Rock because he had a, a an alchemy ingredient induced dream about a mud crab, the bannered mare, telling him about fire and brimstone and things. So, where else do you find fire and brimstone? But Solstheim! The. that. Fire and brimstone are right up there. And there's stones and fire. And that's the gist. I mean, look at this. something. smashed building. It's bad. So he's here. Uh, he actually went to White Run running errands. Ooh, speaking of alchemy ingredients. He went to White Run for I can't remember why. Um, I think he had a quest to turn in or something. But he actually found a message about my... a message titled my uh, trip to Solstheim or something like that. Let me find it, actually. I think he still got it. Um, There, my trip to Solstheim. It's got this thingy on it. I recently made the trip to Solstheim, came back a few weeks ago. Who just died? Uh, Darda just fell down a waterfall. That- <laughs> in the background. So yeah. He found a thing about Solstheim. So here he is. He has no idea what the heck he's doing here, but a mud crab sent him. Where is my horse? Eldy! They lost my horse. Um, that's great. I mean, I don't think having a horse in Solstheim is necessarily a great idea, but... Yeah. Okay, you look like an alchemist. Let's talk to you. Sup? Looking for any potions? If you're looking for any exotic ingredients, just ask. I might have what you need. Like what? Take a look. I happen to be... Woo, grass pods. I should probably not spend a whole crap load of gold, because I don't have that much. Whee! I wonder if there's... Um, let's see if I can sell anything off. I've got... Ten... Chorus eggs! I have ten tons of... Uh... Not that. Like... <laughs> Alchemy ingredients! Oh! Uh... This is on Kondo's left hand, by the way. Just thought I'd point that out. Uh, right. I made a whole bunch of potions because he was very confused as to what to do next and so he just kind of fell into a, a pit of making stuff because he didn't really know what else to do. Originally he interpreted the dream as go talk to the people who teach alteration and destruction and that was kind of he got sent on a couple of quests and did those and is back and mud crab. Silver side perch. Skull. Skull check. He passes the skull check. Snow berries. Uh, swamp fungal pod. Troll's blood. I need to figure out what to do with that. That comes from uh, what ma? Hunterborn. Yes, I'm proud to say that I grow or harvest most of it myself. You're very I good. I only wish I had a better source for netch jelly. Those creatures are difficult to track down since it's so dangerous beyond it's the sun setting. I think the sun's setting. Oh, this is going to be fun. That would be splendid. I'd be more than happy to give you something for the effort. I have no idea what a netch is, by the way. After we left Morrowind, we found ourselves in Skyrim. We wandered around a bit and ended up in Morthon, where we took up temporary residence with Lami. Hey! Alchemist. He knows Lami! I was fascinated by her work, and over a period of a few years, she taught me quite a bit. 
Sweet. It wasn't long before we became homesick. We were the only Dunmer in Morthal. When word reached us that a settlement of Dunmer was forming on Solstein, we were thrilled. Oh wow, that must have been a it's while ago. Been difficult, but I'm not regretting it one bit. In fact, I'm glad we've been able to stay and help. Mallory, how old are you? Rude question, but as you can imagine, the eruption of the Red Mountain took an awful toll on Solstein. Hunting for game has been scarce, and the waters are apparently too tainted for fishing. I did notice the green water to earlier. Morvane, my husband's been Raven Rock's most important food source for decades. Well done. Careful with those netches. They may look tame, but they can seriously hurt you when threatened. Uh, I assume he's like your has your husbando or something. I don't. That's gorgeous. And a little terrifying, to be honest. Frankly, volcanoes scare me. I live downwind of a super volcano. Dormant one, but still. It's scary. Um, nope, nope. Collect fire salts. I probably could do that. Deliver a missive for Adora. No, thank you. How do we have a four sworn leader bounty in Raven Rock? I don't know. It's probably going to send me. Ooh. I'll take that. Send me all the way back to the Reach. I don't want to go back to the Reach. Have you seen Rodolph? I <laughs> meta gaming. Yes, I know where he is. Stay away from Bathardums. Who is this woman? I don't- I- Irene Adler, I don't know. What? I'm working on it, lady! Okay, anyway. I don't want you hunting them again. You almost got killed last time. I'm sorry, he has a lovely voice. I- I got distracted. <laughs> I got distracted! I work for Mogul. You got a problem, you talk to him. Dude! Your voice, sir. You looking for trouble? Stay out of my way. Okay. I see you, Mr. Saro. I'm not doing his quest right now, even though I kind of have that mod. What did I pick up that I wanted to look at? Are we having fun? Ugh. <laughs> Oh, well and rude. I've done that one. Oh, no! What's this? Iron Bind Barrow. I've done that one. That's the one that I, I had to stop by. Uh, the Ruins of... Holmer. <laughs> the Ruins of Holmer. <laughs> okay. This most foul thing is an affront to RK. Great. Okay, well... Where is... Is that... Oh boy. It's Rodolph's house. Rodolph's... House. What? Oh, I've got so many things. Convenient horses. Okay, so that must be back in... Skyrim. I cannot fast travel to this. That doesn't surprise me, actually. Great! Okay. Great. Welp. I am feeling moderately hungry and moderately thirsty. Delightful. Vendor Sarah. I have a message to for you. you Tell my father if he wants to speak to me. He should do it in person. It's not from your father. It's from Captain Veleth. I'm confused! Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, Geldis. Please, tell me, what did he say? This... He oh, said he was glad to hear the first time. Well, he said you know what it means. I just I need to back up so that I can hear myself Thank think. You. Uh, Raven Rock is the reason I probably will never do a Dunmer character. That's actually a Dunmer and not a Dunmer that's raised by Nords, because... Those accents. I don't think I could do that. 
Yeah, I'm walking around, but don't worry about it. Geldus? Welcome to the Retching Nets Corner Club, home of the finest Sue Jammer that will ever grace your lips. I need water. Ah! Of course. And I'll take you up on the Sue Jammer, because why not? Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Sweet. Uh, Asham. He actually has not had an Asham before, I don't think. So there's a lot of things that he's going to end up having to try here. Not the beef stew, because that would be... Matza! What do you say? Sujama. I will take some Sujama, because why not? Tomato soup! Yes. Butter. I could just grab some Asham. And Asham, but I'm not really gonna... Salt. Uh, no, that's fine. A room, please. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you. I know perfectly well as a player what's going I'll to happen to as soon as room. I fall asleep. Not this way. I know, but Bargast has no clue, <laughs> so I'm not going to try to do his voice. That would be a mistake. Look at these battles. What? Somebody's singing. That's a big room. Okay. Yo. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Will do. Dude. I think this might be the first time I've actually rented a room in the Retching Netch. So that's. That's fun. Excitement! Right, what did I just pick up? Sujama? Tomato soup. Sweet. I'm feeling what? I just missed the message. I'm just gonna eat some bread. What? <laughs> I am beholding your power. It's all good. Let's see if I can do something else for a while. Cause it's a little early to turn in. Doop 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 doop. Ooh, uh Why? never seen a Redoran guard before. As a matter of fact, no. Uh whoa. That's pretty spiffy. Pastel auroras. For the win. I just realized that the stars don't twinkle. That's a little disconcerting. It's because I know they do that in re Where is my horse? You almost got killed. Ah. I'm sad. I can't find my horse. <laughs> okay. Bargas saw this thing. He's going to go check it out. I will take that trauma root. I'm taking your cheese. <laughs> That's a mom joke, actually. I'm taking your cheese. Wow. What you building? That they have forgotten. Building some stuff. Here do we toil. That's kind of pretty, actually. That we might remember. Creepy, but kind of pretty. By night we recline. You do what now? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Nightshade. Oh. My day was stolen. Interesting. Look at these. Look at, um, Far from ourselves. columnar joints. That's what these are called. Or, whoa. Bargast is trying out a new spell. <laughs> that was fun. I wonder what's out there. I am not going to swim to for us. it. 
Our guest is just exploring right now. Yeah, 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 your eyes are... Spiky grass. There. There's a flag over there. Whoop. Dude, I don't know if these are called columnar joints or basalt plugs, and I... Can't be bothered to look it up right now. That's gorgeous. He's wearing Morikai on his belt, by the way. Because he's the Archmage, and he... Killed Morikai. I'm gonna take a screen cap. There we go. I still have no idea where my horse is. Oh well. I have some... Shell! I have some shell. I have some... Equipment, some some ingredients to play around with at some point. Be cool. Yoink. By the way, this is probably the place I've been the least often in all of my playthroughs of Skyrim. So I have no idea what I'm doing. So that, up there, I think, Bargast is slow. <laughs> He's really slow. This is the mine, isn't it? Yes it is, okay. I will probably do that at some point. Um, yeah, he's actually here because of mud crabs. And Natchez, apparently. He has to go hunt a Natch. Or... several. So. I'll do that at some point. Hmm. Always a pleasure to watch when a man like you walks by. Oh, okay! Right then. I don't think she's exactly Bargast's type, actually. To be oh, hi! Strudel wants to be on the microphone too. Meow. Well, come here. Meow. My cat is here. Ten. Four. What's up? Meow. What? He's got stories to tell. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six. And he's probably gonna wake up at the Earth Zone because that's how Mirak works. As far as I can tell, Bargast, uh, a pretty young daughter of yours doing. Isn't the Dragonborn? Or he is, but he can't. There's no dragons, so I don't know. I'm confused. Now, but, uh, to me, who you see? Mirak, you scared the. Where am I? Okay. Now, through there. Do I speak? Hi. I- this is a cool screen cap, actually. And when the world shall see you. Oh, I got a screen cap with the screen cap sign in it. That was... Smart. That world <laughs> will cease to be. I'm out. Okay, we're fine. Mirak. <laughs> kind of scared me, actually, when he started talking. Is Freya here somewhere? Freya of the Skull. Let's see, I do- Okay, let's fall off the edge. Whoa. I'm a little lost. So... Character moment. Bargas has just woken up. That's really close, actually. To the Red Mountain. Which means that's probably Morwen. That's kind of cool, actually. Uh, yeah, Bargas is just waking up at dawn. At a weird temple. That he did not know was here. There are dragon skeletons everywhere. And someone was talking in his head. This is the kind of thing that he would look at and be 
inclined to explore because he wants to know who. Here do we toy. Good for you. Who screwed with his brain in the first that place? We might remember. And by brain, I actually mean soul. Cause yeah, he's not originally an orc. There's reeklings down there, and a cultist. I see you. And that's the uh, the house that the reeklings are controlling right now, which means the skull. City is off that direction somewhere. Okay. I'm just getting my bearings, don't worry about it. My bearings. My. I'm getting my bearings straight. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Yark! Uh. Da -da -da -da. I know what Bargast was, by the way, before he was in work. But he doesn't still, so. Uh, I'm not gonna say anything. Here we reclaim. I don't think Freya is. Far from ourselves. I don't th think she he is. Grows ever near to us. Yeah, he's scary. Okay, interesting. I'm not sure what prompts. Freya to actually show up. Is that her? No, it's just some random skull. What up, my dude? Oh, sloth. Yeah, I don't know what prompts Freya to show up, so I guess she's just not going to for the moment. The scaffolding. Oh, and I have just come out exactly where I. T Bearings! Where are they? Who knows? Bargast is completely lost. Which, frankly, I mean. Oh, and this is why I say he is most likely the dragonborn, but isn't. Because he has been able to read a whole bunch of walls, but I need dragon souls to get them, and there have not been dragons so far. Now so. Does he speak. Great. And when the world shall listen. That said, this is probably not... This is what's going through Barga- ooh, not flowers. What's going through Bargast's brain right now is that whoever is doing this probably isn't the person who stuck him in an orc body to begin with because uh, he didn't spawn in, for lack of a better term, in Solstheim. He woke up in the armpits of Eastmarch, basically, on the mainland. It's very quiet out here. I'm concerned. What's this? So yeah, if he were smart, er, he would probably be looking around East March for any sign of necromancers, but he's kind of just everywhere right in the moment. Oh, it's the Dwemer excavation. Oh, is Raggy saying, what can I do for you, friend? Exactly. <laughs> the answer is, wow, somebody died. <laughs> what? what happened? A barbarian hero circlet. Led by the sons of Ragnar. Barbarian. <laughs> oh, he's a vampire. Apparently. Great! Um... He's a dead vamp. Kagrumez. I can't remember. Oh yeah, he has been in a Dwemer thing before. He's been in... Mazolft. So yeah, he remembers. The Chorus and the Falmer and the everything. He's not gonna... 
He's not gonna. That would be a mistake. Where the actual heck am I? Bargast is not the only one who's lost right now. I am too. Very. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, I forgot that these were a thing. Ruby Geode. That was. Hmm. What? Yep, yeah, this is called Let's Get Lost with Bargast. Ash Creek Cluster. Whoop. Hello! Whoa! Hello. Sup? Is that another one? Yes, it is. The bad thing about Soul Slime is that pretty much everything is fire resistant, so. Not everything, however, is bound sword resistant. Thankfully. Ash Hopper Jelly. Oh, that's what I've got to do! I've got to go find a niche! <laughs> I forgot! So basically Bargast is just going to... Go around. I've got company somewhere. I know where it is. He knows where it is now too. Oh! Balls! Okay! Oh! Oh! Your magic... Is... Scary. Let me just make a revenant real quick. Get up! Get up! Go get him! Go get him. Please. Draw the fire! Thank you! No, I killed him. But you're dead, so I can't blame you. For not having a brain! Fang? Whoa! I am taking that. I don't care if I'm not going to be able to use it. That's a good sword. And it's pretty. Apples. Uh, lock chest. Bargast is another character that does not pick locks. Because... Potato. Because... <laughs> Call him my bluff when he rolls dragon eyes. The fool. What? Okay. Usually my experiments are not this vocal. So this is fun. Captain promised me a life of A life of what? Adventure on the high seas. Instead, I'm stuck on this cesspit of an island. <laughs> well, should have thought of that before you became a reaver. I don't know. Well, they've certainly. A mall. Oh, look at this. An elven battle axe of depleting. It is snazzy. It is enchanted. Oh, I'd kill for a decent bottle of mead. Not fair that they always take the good stuff. But it's really heavy. Look, if you were more... Um... Vital, shall we say. I would happily give you a mead. But as it is, you are undead, madam. Whoa. Do you like my chitin armor? Anyway. Ain't is a mead, ain't a mead. Tis the only advice a sailor heeds. Okay. This is all stuff that I have never heard before, by the way. Do I have a pickaxe? No. Let me go grab one real quick, because I saw a guy with a pickaxe earlier. 
And I'm curious, because... Well, okay. Bargas is curious. Because it has an interesting aura. What time is it? Ooh! Because heartstones, that's why. This, you know, excuse me, I just gotta, I have to geologist real quick. This stuff does kind of look <coughs> like volcanic tuff, which is the stuff that gets blown out of volcanoes when volcanoes explode. And the, it gets piled everywhere. It looks like that, except usually it's all piled up like a cairn. What? I'm talking to the microphone. Meow. What? Hi. He wants to know about the heart stones, apparently. Yeah. They're heart- they're- they're- they come flying out of Red Mountain. And then you mine them. And then you use them for necromancy. Okay. I gave the cat a lesson on heartstones. That's my life right now. Dun 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 dun. This ore vein is depleted. Okay. Cool. So now I've got a bunch of... Where are they? Look at all the cards! I don't know if I need... Hi, Connell. I have a piece of that bastard with me forever now. <laughs> According to Bargast, he was a disgrace to his own kind. Where are the heartstones? There they are! Ooh. They're cool! Okay. So, which way did I come? <laughs> which way did I come from? That way. So, we're gonna go put my shield back on and go this way. Nice. Thank you. Why have I still got Mirag's voice in my head? And by that I mean the little thingy down at the bottom. What's this? Whoop! Sometimes I see things in Skyrim and I go, what exactly is this that looks bad? Hello? Oh! Okay! Huggy. Heck. Ow. How are you still walking, madam? That's fine. Burnt sprig and wood. Can I? I can reanimate a burnt spriggan. Yo. That's cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'd say. Whoa! Orca short sword. And I can't use any of that armor because it's heavy. And I, or Bargas, is a light armored kind of skull. Kind of orc, I mean. Like, why? What's this? A patrol, I guess. Cool. Hi guys, don't worry, I've just got a spriggan. Don't worry about it. Where the heck am I going? Probably should be going this way. Oh, I'm looking for niches! Whoa! Where? Hi. Problem with Bound Sword is that. Will you two fight each other? Sweet. Ow! Problem with Bound Sword is that it takes a while to summon it. So half the time I'm just walking around with, like, my sword out. Are those Netches? They might be. Okay. Let's go get the Netch Jelly! They're probably... Really? 
<laughs> Thank you. You creepy thing. They're actually kind of cool. Okay. I don't know which ones the netches are. There's like the little ones, and then there's these big ones. Oh. Whoa. They're cool. I apologize in advance. Oh! Okay. Uh, we're having a netch party now. Yo, they hit really hard. Okay. What? I'm just gonna let my spr my spriggan take care of him real quick. Uh. Where is him? Help. Where's? Ah! Okay, this is gonna be bad. Do I have potions? That can heal me. I have block. It's probably a good idea. I do. Okay, good. I can't tell when they get- Well. I guess that's the end of that episode! <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed. I'm probably not gonna do this again, but, uh... Barcast, everybody! Are you kidding me? I'm all the way back here! Uh... April Fool's on me, I guess! <laughs>